The first time you see a capybara, you might think you're looking at a huge beaver without a tail or a giant guinea pig. The capybara, scientific name, Hydrochirus hydrochirus, translates as, water pig, is the largest rodent in the world. On average, it reaches 120 centimeters in length, 56 centimeters in height and weighs from 35 to 65 kilograms. It has a massive head on a barrel-shaped body and a short rudimentary tail. The body is covered with long stiff hair. The coloration ranges from reddish-brown to yellowish-brown. The capybara is found exclusively in South America in Panama, Colombia, Venezuela, Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay, Peru, and Paraguay. These animals usually roam in groups of up to a hundred along lakes, rivers, and swamps. Like the hippo, it is a semi-aquatic mammal, it feeds and hides from danger in water, even mating takes place there. In order for the capybara to see and breathe while swimming, when most of its body is hidden under water, its eyes, ears, and nostrils are located high on its head, just like a hippopotamus. When the animal floats to the surface of the water, it is almost invisible. Hiding from predators, capybaras can stay underwater for up to five minutes. They can even sleep underwater, exposing their nostrils above the surface. In the 16th century, the Catholic Church classified the capybara as a fish so that its meat could be eaten on Fridays and during Lent. Capybaras usually live in areas of dense forests, near freshwater bodies such as ponds, rivers, lakes, and swamps. They can be found in savannas, as well as in the rivers of tropical forests often they go quite far from their habitat. Capybaras are herbivores. They eat mainly grass, various aquatic plants, tree bark and fruit. Their diet changes slightly depending on the season. During the dry season, they have to eat a variety of plant foods, while during the wetter seasons they prefer to eat more grass. An unusual fact is that capybaras are autotrophagous. they eat their own feces to obtain bacterial gut flora, which helps them digest the cellulose contained in their food, grass. Like cows, they are constantly grazing and chewing on grass. Capybaras are usually very social and live in large groups. The average number of individuals in such groups usually ranges from 10 to 20, but they can number up to 100 animals. Each group usually consists of several adult males and females and their numerous cubs. Social bonds are established among the members of each group, and males protect the females and cubs. Capybaras are also territorial animals and mark their territory and objects with scent glands and urine. They are equally well adapted to moving on land and swimming in water, being very fast runners and skilled swimmers. When female capybaras produce reproductive hormones, their scent changes very little, so they usually whistle through their nose, letting the males know that it's time for sexual exploration and activity. Females have the right to choose with whom to mate, after which dominant males do not allow their females to copulate with other partners. While mating takes place only in the water, capybaras give birth on land. Pregnancy lasts from 130 to 150 days. There are usually four cubs in a litter. After birth, mothers and cubs join a large group of mothers in their community. Young capybaras grow very quickly, although they suckle their mother's milk until about 16 weeks of age. It is not uncommon for a group of cubs of different ages to be looked after by a single adult, male or female. This nursery allows the parents to bathe, eat, or cover themselves in mud without the risk of losing their babies. Nursing mothers often feed milk not only to their own cub, but also to the other young of their group. Capybaras are known to adapt well to life in captivity and urbanization. Many live in zoos and nature preserves. They are also popular on farms as pets. In some areas, capybaras are hunted for their meat and skins, good for making gloves because they only stretch in one direction. Yet capybaras are not considered an endangered species. Their survival is aided by their ability to reproduce quickly.